Hi. My name's Rig Job. Now, hey, uh, that was just a little test of the autofocus tracking to see how it does looking at eyes and face. And uh, just to remind you, this is a pre-production camera, so you can't you know, guarantee that what we're looking at is going to be the same as what you get in the production model. We've got to say that. And uh, thanks to Panasonic for a loaner. Now we're going to do some low light comparison tests. A friend of mine got a, a GH5 as a loaner test for a couple of days. And so I came over, helped him light some stuff. And now, just out of my own curiosity, I want to compare the low light sensitivity of the GH4 and the GH5. Just simple, quick little test. So right now we have the GH5 set to uh, standard profile 50th of a second ISO 800 and I think that's all and um, oh 8-bit uh, 25p so we're gonna roll off a little bit of this how do I look and then we'll do the exact same settings on the GH4 just for shits and giggles we got the 10-bit codec recording now we don't plan on tweaking or anything to see how much we can extract out of it that's the 10-bit codec that's uh, running the exact same settings, uh, ISO 800, 25p, 50th of a second. So it really, it should look exactly the same as the other one. And this is the GH4, uh, ISO 800, all the same settings, standard profile, 25p, and um, this is about as high as you normally want to take a GH4. So if we switch over to the GH5, it looks this clean. And now we're back on the GH4. I don't know yet what that result is, but I'm guessing that the other one was cleaner. All right, this is the 8-bit codec, uh, GH5, ISO 1600. Now, in theory, this should be the, the still a tolerable codec, whereas on the GH4, it was supposed to be pretty darn noisy. All right, so this is still ISO 1600, but now it's the 10-bit codec. In theory, it should look exactly the same as the 8-bit codec. This is the GH4, ISO 1600, 150 of a second. Um, this is as far as you'd normally want to push a GH4, really. 800 is kind of the limit. So um, now we're going to compare this with the exact same settings on the GH5. And now we're back to the GH4. Eh? Eh? I don't know what the outcome is yet because we're still filming this, but hey, what do you think? All right, this is the GH5 8 bit codec. ISO 3200. Now I'll be real surprised if this is a usable ISO for regular shooting. But if it is, that's hoorah, I'm buying one of these. This is the 10-bit codec at ISO 3200. So again, I, I'll be real surprised if this looks good. If it does, then they've made some amazing advances with the GH5. This is the GH4, ISO 3200, uh, 1 50th of a second. Um, the setting should be identical to the GH5 but I'm guessing the noise will be substantially more. How's the color noise? Alright, so this is 8-bit mode, 6400. I had to shut her down to 1 80th to make it sort of the same. Um, if, if my prediction is correct, ah, I'm in a snowstorm of dandruff, help me! This is 10-bit, ISO 6400, 1 80th of shutter, and I, I can't see what's filming right now, but my guess is, once again, ah, I'm in a 10-bit snowstorm of dandruff. This is the GH4, ISO 6400, 1 over 80, 80th of a second. Um, yeah, uh, it's probably unusably grainy, if I remember. I'm, I'm just wondering whether this is comparable to the 12800 on the, on the GH5. This is ISO 12800. And it's 160th of a shutter. And uh, I'm in a colorful snowstorm of dandruff, I believe. Still the GH5, though. This is ISO 12800, still 1 over 160th, uh, GH5. And it's the 10 bit codec, so it's no different. Um, and wow, look how clean that is. Psych, it's a bunch of dandruff. Nobody said psych in the last decade, have they? <laughs>
All right, you're now seeing the GH5 film in the back of the GH4 film in me, and from that you can probably determine, well, not a whole lot. <laughs> um, GH5 is a pretty exciting camera, I think. If we if these come out as clean as I'm hoping, then uh, it's a win. The the thing where you can focus back and forth that's going to come in real handy for you know ghetto slider shots, and um, I don't know the two cards. That's pretty sweet too. So yeah. Um, this is hardly a comprehensive review, but from spending the day, you know, lighting for one, I'd say that it's a pretty obvious upgrade, so. Well, that's not a conclusion at all, is it? <laughs> so, um, I'm just going to take a wild guess in the dark at a conclusion here since I haven't actually looked at the footage. We're still filming it right now. So I'm going to say, mmm. All right, so uh, the battery just died when I was talking, but... Um, I'm just taking a blind stab here because I haven't actually seen the footage because we're still filming it. But I'm gonna I'm gonna guess um, that the GH5 is a bit cleaner in all the settings over the GH4, which makes it the next generation of the same tile style camera. It's a, I know that's a daring thing for me to say, but I'm pretty sure I can stand behind it. And I'd say this: the GH5 has more features. Ah. and the GH5 well. So in all honesty, shooting with it today, the GH5 seems to suffer from a lot of the exact same problems with the GH4. From what we were looking at before, when you start clipping, it, it doesn't have latitude. Even when you're logging out, if you're shooting in 10-bit, you kind of can't go over the top. You can bring up a lot of the blacks, the same as the GH4. So I reckon it's a, it's a pretty exciting uh, iteration. We'll have to see somebody better than me really push the, uh, the limits of the 10-bit and of the S-Log and see what... Is it V-Log? V-Log. And, and see what it can do. Why am I talking like a camera? I'm Philip Bloom, and you're not. No. Um, <laughs> so, so maybe that's just a, a half-ass little put together. Uh, that's just a half-ass little comparison between the two cameras, because that's what we were curious about. So I'm going to share it with you, so you can go on down below and leave your hate comments about the methodologies we use and how it's unscientific. And if you had a GH5, you would have shot a masterpiece and you know and then when you're done writing your hate comment you can just bite off you can you can bite off right now really you don't have to write the hate comment just bite off you done hey this here's a gh5 exposure compensation test we have no idea what auto exposure it's doing but it's doing something then we'll walk outside and see what it does hey follow me i'm going outside backwards Oh, it's brighter now, isn't it? What if I was in the sun? <laughs>